Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. This is Charles, also known as Dr. Fagel here on the internet. Um, this is a update, uh, or I should say Goldman Sachs call out forward slash uh, generalized update uh, regarding about like uh, what I've been doing as well. Uh, let me start off with, with the first one, the Goldman Sachs update. Uh, from the last video, I would say two videos, I did a two part video regarding about Obamacare, Goldman Sachs, and the you know what the WTF on Generation Y, and from that though that two part video, I basically called out on a woman who her her personally herself is is in close relationship with an analyst for Goldman Sachs here in New York City, and I thought it was a good idea to actually uh, have an interview with her that came to mind. Well, let me start off first and foremost that there was a partial mistake and partial miscommunication between her and I. I don't know how and why I came up to that point, but we clarified things. Basically, I met her at my job and she mentioned to me that she's pursuing uh, a PhD in economics. So she's been involved with economics and mathematics for quite some time now. And she's in her uh, early to mid 20s. and. Uh, right and right and she's actually said like you said uh, she's uh, in close relation with this uh, analyst and so I figured to myself as a contribution or I should say as an idea of volunteerism I would actually directly ask her for a discussion slash interview slash luncheon and which I did specify that to her Wednesday uh, Tuesday which was on March 17th 2010 I asked her if her and I can actually have a, a, a like a luncheon interview, my treat to lunch, and we can actually talk and ask about like what she thinks about the economy, why she thinks Goldman Sachs deserves these bailouts and bonuses, why do they deserve uh, the fire on carry because uh, extensively she say like it's okay for the Goldman Sachs workers to have that recently. Remember folks, Goldman Sachs workers never really hold on to firearms as bankers, as easy left for security guards, but now all of a sudden they have that. So getting back on point so basically I, I thought that after a while we will have we will you know come downstairs the very next day March 18th and around 2 o'clock and have like a, an interview slash discussion no cameras no audio recording nothing like that really because she want her privacy and she kind of feel pressure about that and she says she's not into this professional formal thing and that's fine that's okay with me so I'll let the uh, people here on the internet know that unfortunately I cannot provide this information at all I cannot provide the supposed uh, insight that I thought I'll probably get because it, it, it made me assume that first but at the same time I did specify what I said to her so it was partially a, a mistake as far as like a rude or disrespectful of unexpected uh, uh, sporadic timing of things and it would have been best for her just to say uh, yes or no or what would we agree to now I told her let's leave it as is meaning that uh, we will not talk about this at all uh, until she's uh, up to talking about it and that's what came down to so now it's very steady she knows my information no she knows my email and my YouTube channel and I'll have to keep giving her my YouTube channel or email because she, I already gave it to her and that's it and, and she should have already seen the videos that I saw. I thought she did, but I guess she didn't even pay attention to that. I told her what I did, how long I've been doing it, and she. And ladies and gentlemen, to those who are part of the banking industry, who are well in uh, in in network or in close relation, like boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, uh, wife, uh, friendship wise, I guess you can say to these bankers like Wells Fargo, Goldman Sachs, AIG, Citibank. JP Morgan Chase, you name it, these top 10 banks, major firms, please do not really admit that you are part of these firms with, without knowing the consequences behind that. Now, I'm not saying that I myself personally am like personally want to fight against Goldman Sachs or personally want to start up a revolutionary war with them, but there are other there are people out there who are very upset and pissed off and are uh, feeling self uh, feeling, excuse me, not self, but feel insulted by the government of the distribution of wealth via the taxation and as well as the taxes on our commodities and our products we buy as consumers and that we are deprived of that wealth and at the same time we get increased fares, decreased service and so on and so forth. Those people you'll meet who want to actually start take on, take a little, uh, take vengeance or two. Now with me, 
people like me you meet we are curious we are upset at the same time but we are curious we want to know what you like what you think or what you are thinking or what you're doing uh, and you'll give a little insight about that since you mentioned it don't don't mention that you are part of these banks or firms if you know the consequences behind it. It's, it's obvious that Xu Sheng, the person who I tried to interview with, she wasn't fully aware about this matter at all. Ladies and gentlemen, to those of, of who don't know what's going on, it's all over the news for the last year and a half from uh, the news on the TV, radio, the internet, word of mouth. Uh, your own handwriting, journal, diary, whatever you like to call it, it's all over the place for, for quite some time, if not longer. This has been an issue like this for quite some time out in the open, out in the public for this many months going on to years, if not longer than that, because it's it because it became more apparent in my perspective of what happened or what's been occurring since uh, about uh, fall of 2008. So before then, and way before then, I've decided I wanted to do something, uh, you know, to do better, to research on, to get to know about our, our the economics, of politics, how government works, and this is what I was trying to do for here on YouTube. So I thank the subscribers. I thank uh, the people in general who are listening to this on the internet as I'm as I'm uploading this. I thank you uh, for your patience and for your understanding for this uh, unusual. Uh, misinformation I would say in, in layman terms because that's what it came down to and that was unexpectedly uh, it was it was unexpected to have to happen to have to happen like that where she knew that it was it, it, it oh, it's, it's obvious that anyone can look up this stuff it is so important and it's vital at the same time if if you don't like what uh, we have to say here on the internet or if you don't like the cameras and such like that do not mention that you are with these banks. I'm serious. There are people out there who are really are pissed off and really want to cover story about this head on. You name it. Um, it, it check out my my other subscriber subscriptions. You'll see what I'm talking about. Why I'm, I want to get involved as much as with these guys. Thank you again. And have a nice day. Cause as the days went without